Alright guys, um, not a big fan of doing this kind of video, especially about my personal pistols. But uh, I've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of, you know, like, how do you build race pistols? Why do you build them? I don't really consider them race pistols, guys. Quite honestly, because where I'm from, California, there is literally no IPSC, okay? Airsoft, okay? Not real steel. But there's none of that. So I build just for the fun of it. And I build for skirmishing. Obviously, you guys haven't seen the skirmishing videos from me because, like I always say in my videos, I'm an idiot, I'm fat, and I'm injured. Uh, I did that all to myself. No one else to blame except me. But um, I like building things that are unique. And um, I do build pistols for people, but I really don't advertise it because I just do it for fun, to be honest. Um, but one thing I'm always going to ask you, if you well, for people that always try to get me to build pistols, is, you know, give me your three favorite colors. Do you have a favorite action movie? Do you have a, a favorite anime, cartoon, or do you have an idol? And then once you've really thought about that, you know, those, you can sort of start building your pistol if you're, if this is your first, you know, your first pistol you built. Now, I've built a lot of pistols. I, to be honest, I've quite, I've lost track of how many I've built and I, I just love doing it. And I've already done a lot of black and gold, but this slide was unique. This is from Airsoft Masterpiece is a 4-3 hybrid, okay, which gave me the idea of putting the red dot on here and building in black and gold because it's just classy. I love I love black and gold. It's always been a classy color no matter what. Now, the reason why I put this red dot on here, and you guys know me, I you, if you some if you watch some of the videos, I, I tell you guys I hate mounting red dots on like this because the reason why is because we're not in real steel world, we're in airsoft world. Uh, we're running on propane. We're not running on, you know, bullet and that kind of stuff. So what this does, it really weighs down the slide. But that's actually not the case in this one. It still does, and it's still a center mass of weight. But the cool thing is that this slide, naked, weighs 66 grams, including the spring plug, uh, the guide plug, which I need to get in gold. I've been trying to get a hold of uh, Alpha Airsoft to get a 4.3 in gold. Then it's really complete. But uh, anyways, back to back to the subject. This is 66 gram. It's probably one of the well. There's a couple light metal slides, but this is one of the lightest metal slides due to this huge port, uh, which is awesome. And there's a recession cut right here. Okay, see all these and the serrations. So there's a nice cut on here. So that helped drop the weight. The other thing I did, um, actually, first what we're going to do is actually shoot it. Just to show you that actually does cycle pretty nice for having a red dot on here. Take a look under here. There's actually a shim. Uh, this is it's either Silverback or Airsoft Surgeon. I think I painted it black. Um, you need to put shims because they do wobble. Okay, so I, I have to work on the shim and we're, you know make sure it's perfect. Right now it's tilted downwards a little too much, so I need to put one in the front, one in the back, and then just paint them black so you can't really see them. Okay. But let's take a shot, and these are Black Talon mags. Uh, these are my douchebag mags. <laughs> All right, let's just shoot it. Now, if you look carefully, there's something that's a little different. This is the Freedom Art. Okay, it's a very unique. Uh, what would you call it? I don't know. I don't even know you, what you would call it. It's sort of like a like a safety thing. I just put it on here, guys, because I love building things unique, and I like trying to build stuff that's not commonly done. Another thing here you're going to notice is this grip. This is a copy of the Prime grip, hand done by the guys from Alpha Airsoft. Okay, um, I'm I don't actually I don't know specifically who does it, but this is from Alpha Airsoft, and I bought this. Uh, is it a good deal? Um, the real Prime grip guys guys cost you know 300 plus. This was 70. Uh, it's hand done. It's a great job. Looks nice. You know. They have this infinity thing here on both sides. It's great. Uh, the only thing that people might be picky about is the fact that it's actually done on a TM grip. So if you have the skills yourself in order, you know, to you know how to round it off, you know how to sand it, make it smooth, and you can get the skater to grip tape, more power to you. But if you don't have the skill set, uh, this is a nice alternative, okay? But you can always tell it's a TM grip right here and that uh, just how it's contoured and it feels different from the Wii grip because Wii grips, uh, Wii grips have this and the Wii grips have the uh, what do you call it the thing that says Wii something like that but some actually old ones don't anyways back to the subject um, what else did I do you guys can see that I literally bought everything old I, that was my my theme was buy everything 
<laughs> buy everything possible gold. These are there's actually different types of grip safeties, but I'm not going to get into that because there's very few of us that actually look into that kind of stuff. But uh, it was a fun project. Still not done. I have the hammer plate on here. You can see this is obviously not gold. I'm <laughs> borderline going to paint it with nail polish. <laughs> okay. Um, I filled this in uh, with uh, this is actually nail polish. Let me see if it's actually near me, guys. Uh, no, it is not near me. I have no clue where it is. I'm in the process of moving, guys. All right. But what I'm trying to, I guess this was, was this video is just trying to show you my thought process of when I'm trying to build stuff. So the thought process for this one was literally to make it light as possible so I can make this red uh, offset the weight of this red dot mount and keep it compact. And that's why I went with this build. Okay, so this we're going to shoot it. You guys ready? Oh, I have safety on. All right. All right, and we're out. Oh, I have Facebook on. Uh, anyways, um, as you can see, guys, it seems to cycle pretty fast. Uh, it is short stroked, okay, of course. I'm trying to literally conserve all the energy I have. Um, right now, I think the recoil spring is a little too strong. I think it's eating gas a little fast, but this was not filled. Uh, one thing, guys, keep in mind, if you're a Black Town user out there, fill it. It takes a long time to fill these bastards. It really does. That's one of the, the it's not a con, but it's sort of like a so-so pain in the butt. You gotta fill it, okay? And I do have high flows in here. Uh, one of the tricks, though, obviously with my setup is you can't grab the slide like this because you're actually not touching the slide here okay if you notice that this is fixed so you actually have to grab the red dot or you can just grab the front okay okay, okay now we're out I'm gonna get these out of picture and I'm gonna take it apart and show you what I have in here the lower frame is Cerakoted uh, quite the the reason, guys, is first of all, this actually used to be the um, dual stainless 4.3 frame. The this is the Murray's, not an advanced frame. Um, what I did is I cut it, and to be honest, I'm actually I'm sort of test. I want to test out Cerakote and how it works for airsoft, and if there's if it really does provide any benefit. So this gun is actually sort of a test gun for me. So let's take this slide off. You have to really pull this slide to get it off. Now you're gonna notice um, this guy is in here. Um, what's what's wrong with my build right now is I actually need a steel washer right here because you can see that this uh, rubber right here is getting compressed. So that's you need it needs to go um, guide rod rubber washer. Uh, this is how I do my short stroke. Everyone, there is no perfect way to do it. Everyone's just very different. Okay, I'll show you what's in here. This, uh, this this spring is a little too stiff for my liking, but you can see it is 5-1 length. There are actually 4-3 length ones. I'm probably going to be taking this out for a 4-3 length 150 spring. And I actually need to cut this in half because if I put the washer in here, I can't actually actually physically put the slide on. It's just it's impossible. So that's what I'm going to do for that. This is the, uh, the hybrid barrel. Uh, people ask why hybrid barrels guys quite honestly. I love the re weight reduction how it looks is You guys are gonna build pistols based on what you love what gets your interest of course. This is expensive as balls But if you work for your money, why not? You know you build what you like build what you love All right, don't listen to any what anybody else says out there if you love it go for it and build it and have fun uh, this is a, a Brass hop-up and an I key, and this is the uh, what is this? This is the power barrel, 600 and the maple leaf. Okay, um, I built this to literally try to get as much FPS as I can out of this. Uh, this is probably one of the strongest FPS builds. I mean, hop up wise, with the maple leaf paired with the nine ball power barrel, that is it's probably one of the strongest one. Besides, uh, I think Edge does a 595, but that's like insane, man. That's really insane. Okay, so that's that. Here is the key thing where I did when I was thinking trying to build this build. Uh, I wanted to put, I needed to offset this, this you know, because this is, a, you have the red dot plus the actual mount. So it's actually a good amount of weight. 
too much for a standard setup. To be honest, this is still too much, but I'm having fun with it and I'm building what I want to build. Okay, you're gonna notice, let me take out the shim. It's actually, guys, it's literally just a piece of paper. It's not a piece of paper, it's a, 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 one of these, guys. That's where it's from, no, I'm kidding you. You just get a piece of scissors, you cut it up, you see how it shakes? You literally put it underneath both sides, left and right, front and back, and you just paint it black. Guess what? No one will ever know unless they look under it. Now, the important thing about this setup is this is shooter design palm. That doesn't loading nozzles or loading nozzles. They break or they don't break. But I do have a top three shooter design airsoft searching guarder. It used to be in there, but I I don't know what's happening. But I think they changed their um, their material, or they just had a bad batch. I have several that broke, snapped right in half. Uh, customers of mine, they snapped right in half, so I, I'm sort of staying away from them for a bit. So heads up to anyone out there. This is the um, Prime slash, what is it, Prime Nova. Pretty much the same company now. Oh, no, no. Well, okay, we're not going to get into that. But anyways, this uh, blowback house unit weighs 18 grams. Okay, it, it is one of the lightest, um, lightest blowback units on a house. So I paired this with the 66 gram swipe to help offset that so I guess I am I'm hoping this video is trying to help how I think stuff but I don't know but someone just asked like you know how do you build race pistol or how do you build pistols and to be quite honest guys set a goal I wanted to make this unique different okay I cut you can see obviously I cut this this used to be flat like like this you can see I cut it if you have a, a CNC shop or you know someone has a CNC shop, guess what, guys? Just um, maybe make friends with them. I made friend with a uh, friend with my my friend now. Uh, he runs a aircraft CNC shop, and I actually just sort of go borrow and I rent his place out while I have him do stuff that's out of my skill set. What I did for this cut was I tried to match. Let me push this down. I tried to match this right here. Okay. That's what I was aiming for. I, I think I'm off a little, but whatever. It's, it's close enough, and that's what I was doing. I was trying to make something unique, uh, something that's different. All right, here, this is the Freedom Art. I, I like this thing. It's, it's different. Uh, not many people have it. I, I don't know if anyone has it. Well, I'm sure someone does, but I just, I don't know. Anyways, uh, but it's just different, unique. It did need a spitment. I have to, I'm gonna finish this off, but it's actually, it was hitting the slide, okay? So, once you start mixing stuff, guys, you do have to realize that you're gonna have to learn how to do fitment, and that's the uh, fun part for me. I love doing it, except on <laughs> except on Goddard, man. Those are just a pain in the butt. Well, actually, I still do them anyways. All right, so um, that's it. Um, I, did a little tr I did some trigger mods, but I will never ever cover those. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, if you don't know what you're doing, you can potentially just ruin your pistol. Um, Okay, I think that's that's really it to this video. I it's sort of a random video, but I've been getting a lot of questions lately, like how do you build, how do you start, and I guess if I'm gonna give you guys any advice is um always start visualizing. I I'm, I'm a visualizer. I, I love I love art and I love that kind of stuff. So it's it's sort of easy for me to picture what I want. But the best thing I can tell you guys is literally get a piece of paper. Draw, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're not a good draw at all, okay? Just draw a shape of a pistol and start pointing out, like, what do you want to be, what do you want to be, um, like, what color, do you want it to be different, do you want it to be unique? Just start drawing it out, start pointing out pictures, uh, you know, just start pretty much trigger, put draw on arrow, um, red, gold, blue, black, silver, whatever you want, purple, all right? Just start pointing that stuff on that drawing to help you, you know, visualize what you want. And then maybe put it on the side. I'm always going to tell you guys personally, go go performance first before externals. Okay, uh, you know this is a very expensive gun, but I have the externals down. The all these the full externals are here. Internals. I'm sorry, guys. This is all steel. Okay, I always like having full steel builds so that these last a very long time. The only thing that will not last is this frame because this is not it's not it's not an advanced frame. These Murray frames will last a long time, but you know eventually it's going to start damaging it. But I'm hoping this uh, hammer plate will prevent that. All right, or eventually it will give out in you know years or whatever. So performance first, go external second, and just draw it out. 
visualize it, talk with people, figure out what your favorite three, you know, your top favorite three colors, figure out if you have a, an action movie you love, uh, an idol you love, action, you know, anime, cartoon, anything you like, and just build it. And, uh, guys, seriously, don't give a, sh don't give a shit what anybody tells you, right? Seriously, I, I, that's what I do. I build for fun. I build for me. Build for yourself. And um, that's literally my best advice. Build for yourself. Don't build for anybody else. Don't build to uh, impress anybody else. Build to make yourself happy. And that's the best kind of pistol, okay? I'm happy with this, but I'm not done. This this bastard still annoying me. <laughs> and this guy right here. I, I, I have a huge pet peeve when uh, golds are not tinted, right? And uh, this guy is not matching, so I need to... I'm going to contact... Alpha Airsoft, but I am thankful for them because without them, this guy would have never been re released by Airsoft Masterpiece. Okay, this is a first to the market, uh, and I am truly thankful for this. This guy basically made this build for me uh, durable, and it's you know, it works good. It works good. I'll definitely need more. I'll have probably one more video on it just to maybe elaborate. This was a long video. I apologize, guys, but I get this question so many times, so I hope this helps you figure out how to start uh, start somewhere with a pistol, a custom pil uh, build, whatever. If anything, if this video is all over the place, give me a heads up, and I'll try to think of making a structured video, but you guys know me. I sort of just talk on the video, and that's just how I am. So I will see you guys around. Uh, have a good day, and to everyone in, well, yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone, and, and if you're not, well, Christmas, whatever, you know, happy holidays to you, okay? I love everybody. See you around.